Good morning. Can I get this to you? They want one, sir. Thank you. God bless. Oh, you failed. You failed, sir. Oh my gosh, he has some Christian literature. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I gotta use the bullhorn. That works for me. You're no longer on public property. Move. Um, I think this is a street Move. right here, right? This uh, is a street. This is a street. This is private property. You right. are now on. There's an easement that goes along the side of the road. How do you get in there? Can I have Denton PD down here, please? Okay. So, the right of way I was informed by the church representative ends, I guess he said three feet past the wall. And then all this is actually not the right of way. This is their property. So, yeah. Well, I imagine he would say that, but I don't believe it. And I'm willing to deal with it in court of law. If you want to just give me a ticket now, that'd be that'd be completely fine. Because for trespassing, whatever you want, I don't care. Because uh, I'm not trying to be a smart aleck, but this is open to the public. This is open to the public. It's a sidewalk. It's open to the business. You know, there's not a gate here. There's nothing. You know, I mean, when you have something that's open to the public, they can drive through anybody, like a Satanist could drive through here, right? Okay. And go in and get get something here, this business. Yeah. There, there's an easement on both sides of it, you know? It is his property, but I believe there's an easement at least to the corner there. Well, they just went and looked up the easement to make sure. They didn't just come out here and guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what he was doing. It's, they have it in the office. Right. And he told me it's three feet past this wall. Right and you're past it. Well, could you ask him to show it to you? Because, I hate to say this, but a lot of times these 501c3 pastors are liars. I mean, they'll say anything just to, you know, get the police to do their bidding. I know, because this happens all the time, right? I guess, I don't mean, I don't, I don't know who you are. Right. Do you have an ID I can look at? Uh, no, unless I'm being detained. Here's what we're gonna, here's what we're gonna end up doing. Is okay. You said you're willing to face the consequences, that's fine. I will go find out where the right of way is. All right, okay? thank you. And then I'll look at it for myself. Okay. Because we don't want we don't break the law. We've been doing this right. since 2009. So you know, I and I live here. here. And I tell you that I saw it for myself, and you pass it. Are you still going to have an issue? With no, that? Then I'll I'll listen to you, and then I'll go down and get a copy of it. Oh, yeah, listen. To them. They don't want us to hand out our literature, and it's just that all we're talking about is how to make abortion illegal in Texas. Okay. Well, you know, so but if you can do that, that would be awesome, and I'd really appreciate it. And I would, tr I would, I would believe you. You know, and then I would just go look it up myself. You know, and and then make sure. So, but I, but I would listen to you at that point. Property boundaries figured out. It's actually the outside of the sidewalk. If you're in here, we're going to have your criminal trespass. Take your choice. What? So it's your choice. <laughs> but if you stay where you are, we'll bring your PD over, and he's going to uh, give you a criminal trespass ticket. So it's anywhere on the other side of the sidewalk? The far side of the sidewalk is where the boundary actually is. So if you're in here, you're on our side of it. Okay. So you guys need to be outside of the sidewalk to be on public property. Or else you have us trespassed. Sorry? Or you'll have us trespassed? Yeah. Okay. I think that's unreasonable. Well, it's completely unreasonable. Yeah, I know. I don't see the cops coming over. Really? No. Why would the police cut us some grace, but you won't cut us some grace? Undeserved favor, I guess. <laughs> Why? Why? What are we doing that's wrong or sinful? Why do we? Why do you call it undeserved favor? Huh? You wicked old man, you. <laughs> you come over here and lie to me is what you did. All right, and you call it undeserved favor. By who, by God or by the police? I don't know, I'm just asking. Is it undeserved favor by God? Oh yeah, it bores you, huh? Did you used to be a cop once in your life? Do some big stuff? Feel very important? Now you keep people from getting Christian literature on how we're apathetic, huh? Back in your younger day, you wouldn't put up with a man like me. You'd do something about it. Nice what? 
<laughs> I'm just asking. I can see your heart. I can see your heart, what you think, man. You would be the guy that when they tried to make uh, slavery illegal, you'd be like, no, no, no. Slavery's, uh, I'm not gonna oppose, uh, I'm not gonna oppose slavery. I'm not gonna work to make s slavery illegal. Don't come to our church and say slavery is bad, that we shouldn't beat black men and rape black women. You're that guy. Or you're the guy that, uh, you know, the guy that sat in church and uh, was completely okay with slavery. You know, Texas was a slave state. I'm sure you would have been completely fine with it, right? You would uh, stand at the gates and protect uh, the churchians to have to deal with abolitionists, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Is it true? I'll give you some literature. We don't want to oppose evil, right? We don't want to oppose abortion. No? But you, I'm sure you think in your heart you do oppose abortion, right? right? The spread of the gospel, keeping the, the gates of the church secure. Right? Good man. It's apathetic. Undeserved grace. That's what you have right now, sir. You have undeserved grace. 